Namaskar. I am Dr. Harihar Murthy. I am practicing in Bangalore for more than 30 years as an ENT specialist and have been involved with different organizations in the propagation of knowledge of ear, nose and throat diseases. Sinuses are usually referred to in common parlance for any nasal symptom. But what are sinuses? Sinuses are basically the air filled cavities within the bones of the face. So it's between the eyes and below the skull base. These sinuses are air filled cavities which play a very important antiseptic role in the normal situation. So when they are aerated, they are having high antiseptic value. On the other hand, when instead of air, they are having fluid, then the problem comes. First and foremost, if there is any infection in the nasal cavity, it can spread to the sinuses and in the absence of the normal air column there, you will develop sinusitis. That can be causing acute pain, swelling over the face as well as congestion of the nose, nasal discharge, sometimes bleeding. Having said that, if this problem is treated aggressively, it will resolve spontaneously with medication and with that we can get rid of it. On the other hand, if the person has got an inherent problem, anatomical deviations which can predispose to the infection and get repeated infections thereafter, then we are dealing with a situation that may not resolve with medication even after a few months. That is when it becomes a chronic problem and chronic sinusitis has to be treated again initially with medication and only thereafter will we think about doing any procedures. If it's not relieved by medication, surgical procedures may have to be done to relieve the offending reason for the sinusitis. Maybe a deviated septum, maybe a concobolosa, maybe a hypertrophy turbinates. Whatever may be the primary causes for the sinusitis have to be addressed and that may be surgical. And once that is done, we are opening out the nasal airways, ensuring the air passages are clear and then the medication that we give to the local area will be more effective will be able to reach the target areas. So a sinus surgery is to ensure we are opening up the sinuses and making them available for normal aeration as well as for the delivery of medication that is required in the sinus cavities. So that is what is required for a sinusitis.